Welcome back to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the host of the program. And this is the weekly radio show that informs and it educates you on how to buy or sell real estate with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Now, Barb, uh, some buyers are sitting on the sidelines. They're waiting for prices and interest rates to come down. So, Barb, when is the best time to buy a home in Colorado and what are the costs of waiting for prices to come down? Well, thanks, Richard. Um, actually, you know, a lot of people think that, okay, I'm just going to wait for the market to drop like an elevator. And if they knew the actual statistics, that it there might be a few hiccups in the real estate market here and there. But, I mean, look at the stock market in the past year. Nobody thought it would be roaring like it is right? It's the same thing with real estate. And the problem is rents are just as expensive. Now that money, you're paying your landlord's bill. You're not paying your own towards your own investment. And real estate is a long-term investment. It's not something you can treat as a money machine, at least not in the short term. But over the long term, it's a great way to build wealth simply because we all have to live somewhere why not be paying off the place that we live in? And then at some point down the road, either we sell or take the equity out, we can use that resource to either build wealth and buy another piece of real estate or sell it and move to wherever you want to be. And then you have, you're in a better financial position going down the road. And here's some, some interesting facts about the market that a lot of people may not know. Almost one third of the homes that are sold these days never hit the open market. So a lot of people assume the homes that are available for sale, they must all be on Zillow or Realtor.com or wherever the multiple listing services. And that's just not true. Um, we're seeing a 10 year high in inventory. And actually some of the, the best deals on the market actually never show up on those on those lists. Um, and we actually have sold some of our properties before they ever hit the market. And we do that on a regular basis because we already have buyers that are looking. They've already told us what they're looking for. And we match up these houses and these sellers that want to sell to the buyers that want to buy. And it's great. They don't have to deal with all these strangers coming through your house and all that stuff. So I did a little bit of research also just on Google to find out what Google said about real estate investing. And they basically said the best time to buy is when the inventory is high and there's less competition. Well, that is right now. We had at least a 30% increase in inventory since May, and there's fewer buyers to compete with. Actually, there are fewer sales going on right now this time of year and in total for the year as compared to last year. And the winter time is traditionally the cheapest time to get a house. It's when sellers are more willing to negotiate and you're more likely to get the best deal during that time. This is also a really, really great place to invest in real estate because as you can see all around us, just from driving around, why do you think they're building all those apartments? They don't have enough housing. So there's steady growth, there's strong demand and the appreciation, meaning the value of the home over time will go up. And uh, people know if they're renting, rents are going up as well. So buying a home, it's a big commitment. A lot of people, if they're getting financing, they don't like the forensic search that happens into their financial background. A lot of people have all these fears about, oh my God, they're going to find out I was late on my cable bill or something. <laughs> and so a lot of people really don't know what hurts their credit and what doesn't hurt their credit. Like if you're two weeks late on a mortgage, as long as you haven't gone 30 days late, it's not going to hurt your score. But you know, if you go more than 30, okay, yes, that's going to take you out from buying a home for a year or two. Um, but for buyers, a lot of people, a lot of real estate agents kind of treat it like just another day. Okay. Just another sale. And it is the transaction. Most people don't buy homes very often, right? It's very, very important to them. It's very important to them to get it right. Um, 
And the buyer's biggest fear is missing out on the best buys. So um, buyers really need to know how to get access to homes that represent the best buys. And they also need to know what they can afford. So that's something that um, people love looking at homes. I will say that. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love, love to go through the model homes in my neighborhood and just look at them. But um, at the end of the day, if they can't afford the home, it's not, it's, there's no point in looking at it. I know the parade of homes goes on every summer and people love going and seeing all the decorating ideas. But at the end of the day, are they gonna be spending two to 3 million on a house? Probably not, right? So they need to know what they can afford. Um, so it doesn't make sense to look at homes that they, they can't afford. Although um, a, a lot of buyers are really uneducated about the process. So it's very natural to see something and think they can afford it want to go look at it and then find out if they can afford it. And um, that that presents a lot of problems. So we try to educate our buyers up front about the process and how they can get ready. That way, when they're going inside these homes, they have the confidence of knowing that they could make an offer and be able to be successful in the end. Because nothing's more disappointing for a buyer than, you know, going under contract for a home and then find after find out later after they after they spent money on inspection and appraisal that oh sorry you don't qualify for one reason or another so it's always good to get that pre-approval done up front and i think it might cost under a hundred dollars that's just the cost of pulling a credit report um and and then the lender does all the rest of the work uh, and getting the best financing is really, really important. Uh, I was showing one of my listings a couple of weeks ago, and the father was interested in the house, and he came with his adult uh, son and his wife. And they were talking about how they had just bought a home that spring, and their interest rate was 7.4%. Well, it sounds pretty high and good for them for qualifying for that rate. But what they may not know is in six months, they could refinance it at very little cost and be able to get that rate down. So as long as there's a difference to what you are, what you have in a mortgage and what you're getting of about 1%, you're probably in, in good shape to refinance. Um, but having that pre-qualification actually gives you the confidence, the big stick to go in and negotiate from a position of strength. And um, you can get started. We have some great lenders that will get you pre-approved in a matter of minutes. You can call us at the office, 719-301-3900. And then we have some great buyer's agents that really know what they're doing to get you to the right people so that this goes well. Um, nothing worse than having something go sideways in a real estate transaction. I'll, I'll tell you a couple stories on that shortly. But what we do for our buyers is we basically give them insider access that are of homes that are not available online. These are people that reached out to us saying, hey, we want to sell our home. We want to sell it fast. Come talk to us. And they may not want to do the traditional, you know, show the home type process. Also, we can get 1% off their mortgage rate for them. And that represents some of the best financing. And they have certainty that they're not going to miss out in the best deals. I just had that happen on one of my listings. It wasn't my buyer. It was some other agent's buyer from some other area. And what was interesting about this house is that um, it was it had been on the market before I got the listing for 120 days. Very nice home. Um, but the marketing was awful. The pictures were awful. He didn't highlight the best uh, features of the home that it back to open space and had a beautiful covered patio. Um, so when I took over the listing, I said, Hey, you got a marketing problem and maybe a teeny bit on pricing. So we did a little price adjustment, got the marketing, right? We had 40 people attend the open house and on day nine, it went under contract. And right before it went under contract, I reached out to everybody that had shown it saying, hey, do you have any interest? Because we do have an offer that, that could work here. Um, no response. Right after that, that agent scheduled the showing. 
they went out to look at it and it, it went under contract like within a few hours of all this happening. Um, and he called and said, hey, my buyer wants to make an offer. And I said, I'm sorry, it just went under contract. And he's like, whoa, we feel like we got the rug pulled. And I'm like, wait a minute, this thing has been on the market for now 120 days. Where have you been? So the buyer's texting me at three in the morning complaining that I did a bad service to my client. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I did not. I reached out to everybody I knew about, but I didn't know about you. I can't read your mind. I said, why didn't you come look at it before or even the open house the weekend before or any, any time in those nine days that I had it or the 120 days the other agent had it? Oh, well, I had a house to sell and I wasn't going to do that until I got a contract. So, I mean, it, it, it's it's amazing how people get mad at me because they were late to the party, but it, they had all this opportunity to get the house. And I think part of the problem is a lot of these agents only give buyers access to properties that they already have access to. They don't know how to coach them to get them to the finish line. Let me give you another example. I met with some very, very experienced agents that do a lot of corporate sales for banks, bank owned listings and stuff like that. And they were discussing this new change with the commission about the commission not being advertised and how are they going to show their buyers they have value. And the only thing they could come up with, even though I was trying to give them clues, was, OK, well, if they sign an agreement, they're going to pay me so much. They have to pay me. That was their value. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Buyers don't want to stroke a check for a buyer's agent services if all you have to offer is you signs at papers. It just doesn't make sense. So. It's, it's too bad. The industry is very uh, weak in training agents on how to deliver value and how to give some things that, that the buyers can kind of sink their teeth into to feel like when they've made this one of their largest investments in their lives, they've made the right decision. And, you know, Richard, 40 percent of Americans don't have a will, but they've said that if they bought a home, they would consider getting one. Did you know that? I did not know that. The number actually doesn't surprise me because when I talk to friends and relatives, they don't. But as soon as you put a huge investment, it's the biggest investment of somebody's life, as you always mention. That means it, it really is that important. Yeah. So if you are thinking of making a move and you'd like to become a VIP buyer, we actually give our VIP buyers insider access to homes, not online. We're not just, you know, pointing you to Zillow and saying, hey, if you like it, give me a call. I'll get you in the door. We do way more than that. Just call us 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And if you're thinking of making a move, buying or selling, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Barb, what are some other things that home buyers should consider to find the best homes for sale here in Colorado? Well, it's picking the right agent is pretty important. Um, I had an agent recently that brought a an offer on one of my listings and it was really low ball. And he was trying to educate me on how he thought it wasn't worth the asking price. And he was such a master negotiator, the buyer didn't get the house. And it's like, okay, I think they lose sight of the goal. So make sure, I think the most important thing is align yourself with an agent that really cares is trying to get you what you want right? Some agents think they justify their job by getting you a discount or getting you stuff. And that's actually not, not the goal, right? The goal is to make sure that the over, overriding goal is to get you to be an owner of a piece of real estate that goes up in value. Yeah, you might pay a little bit more if you have competition or a little bit more if you have negotiations with the seller, but are they getting you the house or are they just beating up on the seller and the listing agent to the point where they get nothing? And I think that's crazy. And I think a lot of agents do that even more so now than ever. Richard? 
You've been listening to Your Real Estate Voice. That's Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. If you're thinking of making a move, just call Barb at 719-301-3900. Or as always, visit barbhasthebuyers.com. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about should a home seller be present for the buyer's home inspection? You want to know that? Stay tuned. <music> 